Hi guys, this is Jackie. I'm from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine and welcome back to another session of Light Bites. And we have our resident Eurasian cuisine expert, Cynthia Santa Maria, back with us. And also Lisa Yeo over in Germany is going to be hosting her. Um, guys, make sure you say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. And also hit us up with any questions about this particular recipe because I don't know I've never actually come across it I know very very little about Eurasian cooking um, so I'm very very keen to check this out all right uh, before I bring the two ladies on to speak I'm just going to play a quick clip from Tourism Malaysia so sit back relax and we'll see you back here in 30 seconds Hey guys, welcome back. And I'm Jackie M from Master Simulation Cuisine. And we have Lisa Yeo of Kabar. Hi, thank you. And of course, we have our uh, Eurasian cuisine expert, Cynthia. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good, thank you, Jackie. How are you? Good, good, good to see you. Let me just remove Lisa so that we can rearrange the order uh, quickly. Okay, but yeah, so what are you making for us today, Cynthia? Okay, so today, um, in conjunction with the Festa San Pedro, which is the St. Peter's Feast that we usually have every year in the Portuguese settlement in Malacca, but unfortunately, we can't do it this year because of the pandemic. So I am going to do a Portuguese baked fish. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check very closely to see how different it is to our usual Malay baked fish, okay? But anyway, let me just get rid of myself and I'll leave you two ladies to talk about this and I'll join you guys back here in a little bit. Okay, all the best, guys. Thank you, Thank Jackie. You. Thank you. Hi, Sind. Hi, Lisa. Yeah. I'm good, hey, Thank you. I've never heard of this dish, you know, and, and maybe you can explain again what, what festival you have. The okay, um, uh, it's called the Festa San Pedro. It's celebrated every year on the 29th of June. Uh, uh, and what happens is if you go to the Portuguese settlement in Malacca, they will, um, or they will um, decorate all the fishing boats and everything because it's St. Peter's. St. Peter is the saint uh, who, um, who helps all the fishermen and the, the saint for the sea oh, and everything. Oh. So they light up all the fishing boats with all the fishing nets and everything. And we have a huge carnival uh, with lots of food and drinks and everything. And then we also have the priest to come and bless the boats so that ah. they'll have lots and lots of, um, you know, uh, catch uh, when they go out ah, fishing. Okay. So that explains yeah. the, fish, the, the fish dish. So on yes, this day, that's you right. don't eat anything but fish. No, we of course not. I mean, we eat everything, but then again, you know, because um, uh, I what I do understand because based on my research, there is a province in Portugal um, who also um, who also uh, celebrates uh, Fe uh, Festa San Pedro, and uh -huh. um, during that time on the 29th or the the, the days leading towards um, the feast day, they their staple food or the um, the food that they will. Uh, cook is uh, also fish and they usually use tuna but I can't recall what is it called but it's also during San Pedro okay yeah. so I, I, I thought yeah, sorry, I thought it would be very uh, very appropriate uh, to introduce the Portuguese baked fish some bake it, some grill it so either way it's the same uh, recipe okay I'm very intrigued a lot of Facebook users says hello B B says hello sister Larissa Rumban <laughs> also say hello yeah yeah must be all the gang B is your sister right B is my sister that's right yeah ah, the one that I met already before yes that's oh, right yes okay okay <laughs> so the, the stage is yours my darling please go ahead and thank you I'm very thank intrigued you intrigued to watch this yeah Thank you very much. Okay. okay um, for, um, hi, everybody. Um, um, I'm quite happy to share this dish with, with, with everybody. Um, today, I'm going to use a uh, ray fish. If you see okay. here, it's uh, ray, ray fish. Yeah? Yeah. Sting ray. Sting ray. Uh -huh. 
Of course, you can use any other fish, um, any white um, white flesh fish, not the dark ones like mackerel or tuna, right? And um, you can use siakap or, um, I don't know, uh, terubo is very nice with this. Oh, well, my favorite, my favorite, yeah. terubo. It's wow. very nice because uh, the texture of the fish. But for today, because the, the stingray is very, very fresh, and that's why I chose to do the stingray. Okay. So what I've done is I have um, I've marinated the stingray with a little bit of uh, salt and uh, pepper powder, uh -huh. right? And um, over here, and just leave it back. Over here, you have onions, uh -huh. uh, glanga, uh -huh. um, some garlic, garlic uh -huh. and uh, blachan, which mm -hmm. is shrimp paste, right? And um, lemongrass. Okay. 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 So, um, and you got chili you too, I can see. And chili, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fresh chilies and dried chili, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So, what you do is you um, you soak the dried chilies and make it a, a softer, and then you blend it up into a paste, uh -huh. and you add all these ingredients inside, and you blend it up together. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. And once it's blended, you just stir fry it with some oil until it forms. To this paste can you okay. see this? Yeah. yeah you can't make yeah. it too watery and too dry it's, it's just a nice texture the paste okay. here you see just a did, nice did, texture because did, did I garing ke belum tu? Dia punya, dia punya ini paste. Dah garing dah. this one is already garing yes aha, aha. it's already garing with the oil and everything yeah oh, okay. so okay. If, it's, if it's too if it's too watery right when you when you coat it over the fish and when you are bakaying the fish, when you're grilling it or even baking it, the moisture from the fish will make it even more watery. So we do not want we do not want that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Cynthia, right? Eunice is saying hello to you. Hi, Eunice. Is that Eunice Henro from I don't know, from uh, Subang Jaya, is it? Yes. Oh, probably I'm not sure. Well, anyway, hello. Thank you for watching, Eunice. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go right. on. I mean, this is quite okay. similar to what we have in Singapore, right? Like, uh, they have their ikan bakar with also this, uh, uh, what you call that, with the stingray. But I'm very intrigued. Okay, go on, go on, go on. Okay, it's actually quite simple. What we'll, we'll start off with, since the rumpa and everything is already done, today, uh -huh. I'm, going to, um, today I'm going to show you how to um, do it on the grill. Okay. Right? Okay. But I already have one pre-cooked which is baked. So you, you can actually see the different texture between a grill and a bake with okay. the same okay. uh, recipe. Yes. Right? So um we'll start off with um of course um you get a foil. Yeah. Sorry since uh Eunice is from Shah Alam. I read wrongly. My eyes sometimes blur a little bit, you know. Ah, okay. okay. That means it has to be it, it has to be one of one of my school um, school friends, Eunice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you take the ray fish. Uh huh. Um, oh, Do you I forgot the banana. Do you need to dry it a little bit, my dear? Sorry? Do you need to dry, like, pet dry the fish first before no, you no, no, not, and not pepper? Not necessary, you know? Uh huh. Oh yeah, my God, so, you know, I really love stingray. I know. But luckily in Frankfurt, we can get them too, you know? Oh, that's good. I was, I was. I was thinking that would be difficult to get it over there. No, no, we got stingray in Frankfurt, definitely. Sometimes oh. I make some bras with a oh, stingray. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So okay. you put the fish over the banana leaf, uh -huh. right? Okay. And you just take the rupa uh -huh. and just put it over. There you go. See? This is a typical Portuguese food, yeah? Yes, in Malacca. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you can have, I mean, everywhere selling uh, uh, ikan bakar Portuguese, you know. Uh -huh. But um, whether or not it's actually the, the recipe, you know, some people will always say, you know, it's um, Portuguese baked fish or ikan bakar Portuguese, but um, somehow the I, I found that the taste is not the same. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. So put it all over the fish here. See, when you make this uh, paste, right, how long mm -hmm. do you roughly take to to fry it until it gets to, 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 this, it. to this texture, to this uh, consistency, the paste? Um, well, it depends. When you when you blend 
all of the ingredients together if you were to add in water then of course it will take a longer time but if you don't add in water it takes about maybe half an hour okay do you yes. have to add in salt in the base as well yes yes you have to put salt and a little bit of sugar and oh yes i forgot asam jawa asam jawa yeah yes you know yeah. just just a, a tablespoon of asam jawa together in the rempah Okay, so when, when you put the asam before the the, the paste gets uh, cooked properly, or after that, then you add later. Well, uh, my way is I like to tumis it. I will I like to uh, tumis it for a little bit when it becomes a um a little bit cooked and not too raw. Then I will put in the asam jawa together with the uh, sugar and the salt to taste. Yeah, that, yeah, I think that's a lot. Somebody, you know, a Facebook user says sometimes you need to smell the stingray before you buy it because that's that true. Stingray has this very uh, pungent, you know, like this. Smell. Yes, you are very right because that's true. That's why I decided to do stingray today because it was so fresh and it doesn't bring out that you know the Malaysia the honey. Yeah, you I know that honey it. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, so this oh. is beautiful. Yeah. Hey, my sister in law says she likes stingray. Yum yum, mangli. <laughs> Mangli likes anything. So, what's the best oh. substitute if I do not have a grill pan? There's uh, somebody asking that. Same. You can bake it. You can put yeah. it in the oven and bake yeah. it. Put it at 170 uh, Celsius and you bake it for about half an hour. If the fish is about 500 grams. Okay. Okay. Yes. If the, the fish is bigger, yeah? sorry. If the fish is bigger, how many? Then how, uh, how long you need to bake it? Well, every 500 grams, you put it for half an hour. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. That should do. Either that, you just take it out and take a, a toothpick okay. or a, um, a chopstick and just cook yeah. the center and to see whether the fish is done. Because you don't, don't really want to overcook the fish as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's done. And then your chili is totally up to you how much of chili that you want to use because it depends. Some people prefer it not to be too spicy. Um, uh -huh. But... Totally up to you, yeah? Okay. So once okay. that's done, you put another um, banana leaf over. But oh, before so that, nice the banana leaf, see? Here, banana yeah? leaves are so expensive and frozen. Do you know that I, I got a whole bunch of banana leaves like this? I think I have, uh, it's about 10, 10 leaves uh -huh. and it's only two, ring, two ringgit. Ah, make me jealous. Man. Next time I go back here, <laughs> you better pack for me banana leaf. Uh. <laughs> How to pack banana leaf? Okay, this is cafe leaf. Yeah. Uh, or lime leaves, cafe leaf. Yeah. Right? Okay, so you just shred it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes, uh, a Facebook user asks, oven bake at 170 degrees, 30 minutes for 500 gram fish. That's right. Yeah. So for every 500 gram, add another 30 minutes. And one yes. day, say, oh, she can now once like, bought the fish, right? Scully, the smell, like ammonia smell. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's horrible. Especially, you, you can never, even if you want to do asam, asam fish with it, and however you try to put, you know, all the other leaves and flavors, to um you know uh to to get rid of the the smell of the ray fish it's never going to work yeah you know so you just put uh, shredded uh, lime leaves coffee leaves over uh -huh. okay this is really good because it brings out the aroma um yes, of the yes. um you know and what i like to do is which is not very um uh, what i like to do is uh, you know your uh, lemongrass your yeah. sadai I like to slice it very, very thinly, like uh -huh. this. Yeah. And just break it up and sprinkle some over. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And because I like lemongrass, so it brings out the flavor of it. And then it will look like this. Can you see wow, that? Oh, yeah? Yep, nice, nice. Right? So you only do on one side of the fish, uh, see, the, yeah, because the, the by, sambal. I mean, you can actually marinate, you know, put the whole uh, sambal or the, the paste over the fish like that and maybe put uh -huh. it in the fish for okay. half an hour or so. But um, for today, I'm just going to put it over. Okay, okay. Right? So if you want, and if, then, 
Uh -huh. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, and then put another banana leaf over here, over the fish. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then take another four. Let me just turn the grill yeah, up a bit. Uh, from, from, uh, from, I think must be from Jackie lah. She asked, how are the ingredients different to what you use in the normal ikan bakar? Normal, well, you, you have the Malays who've got their ikan bakar done differently. And um, I, I would think that um, the ingredients are quite similar. Mm -hmm. um, the, probably the only difference is um, perhaps they, they use more um, kunit powder, mm -hmm. you know. And um, some of them, instead of um, wrapping it up in foil and banana leaves, they just put it over the open fire, over the grill, and yeah. just turn it this way, you know, and just turn the fish. Uh -huh. um, if you can do that, and but if you do that, then you will find that the the fish would be more charred. And yeah. if some people like it more charred, see if I only go ahead and do that. Yeah. Another question is, I think you you, you mentioned this earlier on, but uh, maybe the Facebook user has not heard it. She says, okay. selain daripada ikan pari, ikan apa lagi sedap masak Portuguese style? Ooh, siaka is really nice. Uh -huh. You know? And then, uh, as I say, the ikan... Um, terubo. Yeah. Ah, terubo is nice. Or selah kuning is also very nice. Uh -huh. You know? And, you know, and if you, if you want to use chincharu, you can use chincharu, but not baka. You use this rempa and you stuff it in the chincharu and ah. you deep fry it. Macam ikan sumbat lah like that become. Ah, like ikan sumbat but you just, uh, you use the same rempa. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Why do you use two different types of chili? Why do you use like uh, the, the normal chili, the fresh and the dry chili? The dry chili? I I feel that because the, uh, the dry chili is, um, let's say, um, it's got a different taste and texture to it. So we add in the fresh chilies to give it a, a different aroma. Mm -hmm. You know, G give it a different aroma. Because if, it, if you taste it, with, if you do it with only dry chilies, you will find that the taste is different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, another Facebook user say like this, sodak, like this lah, selak kuning, yeah. terubo, <laughs> ada, 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 ada. Ah, my favorite oh, is terubo. The, terubo, yeah, but terubo yeah, here is really expensive now. Yeah. It's really, terubo is very expensive. It's about 60 ringgit per kg here now. No way. Yes, yes way. <laughs> 60 ringgit per kg. And it has yes. got so much bones in it. Yes, but it's so delicious, isn't it, when it's bakar? Okay, so this is done. Okay. And what you do is you just put it on the grill. So and that's basically, it. basically, Sin, you can do this like a, like on a barbecue, yeah? yeah? When you have a barbecue. Yes, whatsoever. you can. When you have a barbecue, you just get all your fishes ready, put it in the fridge overnight, if, um, you know, the day before the barbecue. And... Um, it, it will taste really good because all the rumpa has already seeped into the fish, right? Yeah. So um, on the day of barbecue, you just put it on the on on the grill. Oh, someone say in kuching terubo is cheaper in you know definitely the, the terubo must be cheaper in kuching in Sabah must be even cheaper, right? See, definitely. Oh, Sabah is a haven for for seafood. Oh, I miss Sabah so much. I know you went there with Anne and makan all the seafood and brought back some more. Uh, we brought back almost 10 kgs of seafood. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? What are you going to do now? Next. Okay. I'm just going to, I mean, once this is done, this is just to garnish the, um, the, the end result. Fish. A, yeah. yeah. A little bit of cucumber. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just you like know, the when, cucumber. When I do little. something like this, uh, this kind of fish, yeah, uh, or stingray mm -hmm. kambaka, I tend to um, pre-fry just just to char a little bit the the fish, yeah, 
And then mm-hmm. after that, I put in the the extra. First, I marinate a little bit, and then I put in the extra sauce or the the extra sambal on it, and then it goes onto a the zakmandas onto the the banana leaf, you know. And then I cook it that way. So it's a uh, here it's a bit different. Here you get all the water, yeah, the the water from the the juices from yeah, the fish. Yeah, we out. yeah we want we want the juices from the fish to yeah. incorporate into the uh, rempah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But, I mean, you can do that as well because if you like your grilled fish, as I said, nicely charred or a little bit burnt on the outside, you know, that's mm-hmm. totally up to you, right? Yeah. Um, this is for this is uh, lime for later. Once the fish is done, we yeah. normally put uh, lime so that you can, um, you know, sprinkle over, um, mm, mm, mm. right? You, you know, like the, for, the ikan pari that, uh, oh, Yay, yeah, say hello to Anne and Chrissy for me. I don't know, a Facebook user say, Yay, yeah, say hello to Anne and Chrissy for me. Who is that? I don't know, only come up, Facebook user. Dear Facebook oh. user who's asked to say <laughs> hello to Anne and Chrissy, could you kindly tell me your name, please? <laughs> oh, uh, Mangli, my sister-in-law. The beauty of Portuguese baka is the juices of the fishes in the banana leaf. Hey, Mang, you anything also you like to eat, lah. Can? But kesian lah, she's stuck in Singapore. I know, ah, huh? poor thing. I huh? cannot go back, right? Yeah. Oh, Larissa was the one who said that. Ah, Larissa is my my schoolmate. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, so, Larissa, okay, uh, go and say hello to Anne and Chrissy. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Hi, Chrissy. Yeah, tell Anne I also say hello. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. She's, yeah so, uh, Anne, Anne, Anne is listening to you, is, so yes, yeah, she's, she's nodding yeah, she's her nodding head. nodding her head, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you know um, in um, ikan bakar, some ikan bakar that I know, they also serve the fish, right? Together mm-hmm. with chinchalo at the end. Uh, you know, are you going yes. to do that? I mean, this is all the no. difference between the Portuguese and uh, the common one that we get yeah, in, in KL. Yes. Okay. The difference with uh, when you serve a ikan bakar with chinchalo, mm-hmm. um, uh, when you do that ikan bakar, the paste or the rumpa will not have so many ingredients. It's a very simple kind of ikan. Basically, you marinate the fish with a little bit of turmeric powder. Uh, a little bit of uh, curry, ch- uh, the fish curry powder and some chili powder with mm-hmm. salt. And then you baka it. So it's very simple. And then you uh, you serve it with chinchalo. Because uh-huh. if you were to serve it with chinchalo with this ikan baka, the flavor becomes overbearing. Ah, okay, okay. Because you already have so yeah. much flavor in your sambal. Yeah? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. You know, so you don't want the flavor to be over. You, you wouldn't know whether you like the flavor from the rumpa or from the chinchalo, you know. So yeah, you, you get lost you can do you don't know what you're eating at the end of it. Exactly. So if you want to serve it with chinchalo, your ikan bakar should be very um, simple. Uh-huh. Are you cutting some more lemongrass? Yes. And this you're going this to put salt on the fish later. Okay? This is just, yes, this is just to garnish. I ah, see. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Okay. So let me show you how it looks like with the baked fish. Okay. This is the one that you bake in the oven, yeah? Yes. It's still hot. Okay. This is the one that I baked in the oven. Okay. Don't burn your finger, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> I won't. Let me see. Does it smell good? Mm-hmm. Ta-da! Wait, babe, cannot see first. I cannot tara, babe. Ah, ah. Uka, uka. Bau de best, babe. Ah, sin. Mesti lah best. Takkan lah tak best. Oh my God. You are not fair lah. I miss ikan pari like this. Let me okay, see. Okay, wait. Hang on a minute. So... You just garnish it like this. Uh-huh. At the side, right? Yeah. 
this reminds you like you know like uh, some kind of uh, like you know when you go to hawker center you get this kind of food as well yeah yes correct you know, yeah you know put a little bit of um cilantro over yeah right and yeah. a little bit of the lemongrass sprinkle a little bit of it here and a little bit of coffee leaf and oh that one you did not do it first before that or what when you i did i did it's it's presentation you know presentation <laughs> Mana lah aku tahu babe, aku tengok sekarang ni. <laughs> It's presentation punya pasal, okay? Oh, somebody say sotong also nice. Oh yes, sotong is fantastic. Sotong and prawns, same style, the uh, with the same rempah, sotong and prawns is so good. Especially if you put it over the barbecue, over the coal. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. Let me get, uh, okay, this is how we look. Can you see it? Um, Lisa, yeah, are yeah, you I able to see, see it? I can see it. Wait, hang on. Let me just yeah. bring it closer. Maybe just bring it closer so we can see the inside of it. Okay, there you see. Yeah, wow. Can you see the juices? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I sh I'll show you the juices from it, yeah? That's why you cannot, it, it, the rumpa cannot be too watery because when the, when the juices from the uh, fish comes out, you see? Uh-huh. What That's do you the, normally the eat this with? I mean, the Portuguese, what do they eat this with? With beer. <laughs> like no rice, ah? <laughs> no need rice. That's why, that, that is why it's a finger food. <laughs> oh, this finger food, ah? This is all yeah, for us. dinner. <laughs> uh, it's, it's finger food. So let me just cut you a piece and show you how it looks like inside, yeah? Okay, there you go. Ooh, oh, yummy. Yeah. See that? There you go. Can you see that? I see. I also move my head as if I'm so close to you. Yeah, you uh, also be better. Yeah. So this is this is nice and cooked already. Yeah. Mm. Very good. nice. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Oh my god! I don't mm. have any more uh, stingray at home, but maybe tomorrow I go buy. Very good. Um, yeah. you can always take your your lime and sprinkle it over if you prefer. But, um, you know, for me, I just prefer it like this. Yeah. Oh, it's very you know, good. Yeah. I imagine like, you know, when you say it's San Pedro's Day and Portuguese food, I imagine it to be a different kind of style. Yeah, not like this, you know. I thought like, you know, like on a Portugal like that, right? Hey, Portuguese is from Portugal, right? Yeah, but, but then again, you know, over the years, I mean, over the many, many centuries, we have incorporated a lot of our dishes with the local uh, herbs and spices, and we came up with our own. But there's a lot of other similar Portuguese dishes, which they still do in Portugal, but um, we, we mix and match it to suit what, we, what is available here in Malaysia or in Asia. Uh -huh. And uh, we, we come up with our own because there are certain ingredients that we are not able to get. So uh -huh. um, yeah. We improvise. The Portuguese yeah, are very good you know, at improvising. In Malaysia already, you know, we, we use the ingredients that we have, basically. Yeah? It's the mm -hmm. evolution of our food. So is that yeah, cooked already? True. Nope, it's not. I'm just going to turn it over for a bit. Ah, this is almost beer, done. Say what you know. Yes, yeah, super meat beer. And with <laughs> beer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This, this is when, you know, you invite your friends over for barbecue and you have a drinking session and, you know, you just, or it's a, a high tea, perhaps, you know, high tea sounds good, you know, you just put it on the grill, and there you have it, you know, while you are chit-chatting, catching up, it's grilling on the fire, and, you know, when it's done, yay! Darling, uh, high, high tea, I, I imagine muffins, cupcakes, aku kasi aku ikan. <laughs> Because Asian, Asian, our high tea has to be like this, you know, it's all campur-campur, we'll have like our palm school teas, we have our um other um other queen way but we must have this okay okay or I even or even or even oh <laughs> uh, no 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 our high tea no no we will we'll, we'll have we'll have this or sometimes with ota ota mm, yum he said the magic word ota ota <laughs> ota <laughs> ota is so good yeah oh, yeah yeah you know, we should we should do a, another show 
with um, making otak otak from scratch. Oh yeah, we have our chef Rene Jufri actually did that once. And yes, yes, yes. Excellent, yes. excellent recipe. So good, right? So guys, if you want the recipe from Cynthia, what Cynthia is doing right now, what is it called again, my dear? The Portuguese baked fish or grill? Yeah. Portuguese baked fish. In, Port in, in Portuguese, fish. in Portuguese, it's called uh, pes uh, where are? Pesi asa. Okay, if you want this recipe, <laughs> asa. Yeah, don't forget to sign in and uh, sign up today at MalaysianChefs.com. You will get all the recipes. Not only from Cynthia, Cynthia we had earlier on Elias Warat, who mm. did some pasta with uh, creamy mushroom sauce and uh, and all the other episodes that we mm. have here on our Like Bite series. So please sign up if you want to have all these recipes. Yeah, And you can tell everybody, I can cook Portuguese food. <laughs> <laughs> Malacca Portuguese food, or oh, you know, Malacca don't Portuguese don't say Portuguese food, food because um pe the the people in uh, Portugal will probably say no, we don't have that here, but it's yeah. very uh very distinguished. It's the um, Malacca Portuguese uh big fish. Yeah, so don't forget to sign yeah. up here. Is https slash slash malaysianchefs dot com slash join today okay please sign up and then you will get all this recipe this is really wonderful especially um, i mean like for us in germany right now it's summer yeah so uh this kind of recipe will be really wonderful so for those who are also in germany or in europe it's summertime so it means it's our grill time so we have now yes. the recipe that uh, we could share uh and you please do please please, please our, try yeah and we must surprise all our uh f um, our friends who are not malays or not malaysian with our wonderful dishes yeah yes. okay, go on, is it cooked already no it's not but it's um it's almost done but um if let, let me just pick it up Ooh, i see yeah what is what is the difference when you bake and when you grill? Is there okay. a, a distinctive difference? Uh, when you uh, when you bake it um, the same way with, with all the packaging and everything, um, it the, the flavor will taste more um, broiled. Okay. Uh huh. More broiled or like like you are steaming the the fish. This is when you bake it. This when you bake it, uh -huh. right? But when you grill it, it um, the the moisture from the fish uh, tends to get dry up, tends to dry up faster, uh -huh. and it will it will uh, it will incorporate into the fish fish, and it will become more charred, slightly more charred. That is why I took out the um, foil and the banana leaf so that it can be. Um, uh, you know, it can be grilled properly. The whole okay. reason for covering it is so that the fish will get cooked faster. Uh-huh. Right? Uh -huh. The steam yeah. from, uh, you know, when you cover it, the steam will cook the fish faster. Uh -huh. But after um, after maybe five minutes or ten minutes or so, depending on how big the fish is, yeah. you take out the foil and the banana leaf and just let it grill on high so that it will, it will dry up and it become more like an ikan bakar. Oh, okay. So, kalau dia in the other one, it will it will not be like ikan bakar. It will be like you know more juicy in, in, instead. Juicy, instead. that's right. Yes. But if if you were yes. to remove the foil, the way you do with the ikan bakar on the grill, would it also have mm. the same effect? It will, but um, I would be afraid, or you would have to monitor um the oven because you do not want the rumpa to get burnt. Okay. Okay. So if you remove it, the top portion will probably get burned because remember at the bottom portion you still have got the banana leaf and the foil. Yeah. So the yeah. top portion, you know, if you if you were to put it in the oven uh, and take out the, the the top portion, I'm um I'm afraid that you know the top portion will probably be you know all burned. Yeah. 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 Okay. Could you run through the spice paste uh, ingredients again? Uh, uh, see what you put sure. inside. In, yeah. Okay, for 500 grams of fish, okay, yeah. 
you would need about uh, two medium sized um, onions, mm -hmm. okay, about four or five um, garlic, yeah, right, some glanga, which is um, what is glanga in English? It's um, um, ginger, galanga, ginger galanga root. Was? No, galanga is ah. English, it's uh, lengkuas in Malay. Ah, okay, some glanga. I call it glanga. Okay, about 30 grams of this, right? 30 grams. 30 grams of glanga. You can put more if you want it to be more pungent, but I yeah. feel 30 grams is just nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, two um, lemon brass, the right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And three fresh chilies. Okay. And about a handful of dried chilies, dried chilies soaked in uh, warm water, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about it. And belacan, then, belacan, babe. Oh yeah, that's right. Belacan, one teaspoon of belacan. If you don't, if you have the belacan powder, it's about one teaspoon. Or uh -huh. if not, it's maybe you agak agak lah, kecubit lah. Ah okay, okay, about one teaspoon yeah, of belacan. But it has to be roasted belacan. Huh? Don't get the wet belacan. What's the difference between the roasted and the wet one? The roasted uh, blachan gives gives a better um, aroma. The wet one is very raw. The taste is very raw. Okay, okay. I, okay. I prefer the roasted blachan. Okay, yeah? okay. So you blend all of these together and then you tumis, um, you fry it or tumis it with, with oil until it's uh, thick enough. Um, 10 minutes into while you are tumising, you put in one tablespoon of asam jawa. Okay. Yeah. You can asam. use the asam jawa paste, okay? Yeah. But, uh, or you can use the asam jawa with the seed and then just put some water inside and make it mm -hmm. make it a little bit thick. The consistency would be something like this, this thick, uh -huh. right? Okay. Only one. And um, just one tablespoon will do. Uh -huh. And yeah, uh -huh. then you to me until it forms a paste like how I've shown it to you just now. Yeah. That's and the remember. Um, How much sugar, sugar you need is, to put? Okay, um, I put uh, a teaspoon of salt mm -hmm. and um, just a quarter teaspoon of sugar, but it depends on your taste bud. Okay, so this one you adjust accordingly. Like, if you like yeah, your you masala, adjust. add a little bit more. Yeah. If you like yeah. it more sweet, add a little bit more. Okay, yeah. adjust. If you, like it more, if you like it more sour, then put in more um, yeah. uh, asam jawa. But, but you're, um, you're going but to squeeze lime at the end. Over it, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But then again, the lime, the lime is a preference. Some people might not like yeah. might not like to squeeze lime over it, over it. They might just prefer it this way. But uh, the lime actually gives a nice um, tangy uh, taste to it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. always like lime on top of it. Is uh, is it ready already? The one on the grill? Almost ready. Yep. Hang on a minute. Yeah, let me yeah. just turn this over. I oh. wish you know that we have like, you know, technology in the future. They do something that I can also smell it. Yeah. Not just hear and see you, but can also smell. I mean, that would that would be like a, an achievement if that ever happens. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I think it's here. Mm, so good, lah. You, really you let Anne try lah. Yeah, Anne waiting already here. Yeah, but try. Oh, All waiting. Now. I can see Anne trying. Ah. Okay. But you can see the pace is still like, you know, at the bottom of the fish, the, the pace is not there, huh? It doesn't matter because once it's all done, when you eat the fish, let me just cut a little bit for yeah, you yeah. here. Yeah. Can you see that? Ooh, so. Nampak jauh lah. Oh, sorry. How do I? Put, how yeah, do I you do? have to cut it and bring it closer to the the camera. Okay. Wow, you know when I eat pari, I like the bowl. And then you see that's how it's done. Ah, Can you see? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. A Facebook user so says it's... smell and taste technology. Big, my dear. Smell already very good. If we can get that taste, I cannot guarantee. How to taste? <laughs> you know, to put it through like that, and then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, well, like the future. 
Okay. So, uh, so if, 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 if any, if, if, sorry? So you eat it just like that. You don't eat it like, can we eat it with rice, with noodles or whatever? Of to course, us. you can eat it with rice, you know, but when you eat with rice, you ramas like that with the fish and food. I tell you, it's really, sure. yeah, especially when you get the taste of the, um, the lemongrass and the uh -huh. kaffee leaf induced, uh -huh. because the kaffee leaf, we uh, shred it over it. So when it's steaming and or when it's broiling, uh, the kaffee leaf um, taste or scent uh, aroma will be will actually be induced into the fish and the oh, it's just lovely. You must when try I it, Lisa. Back in KL, see, you are making this for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> but in the meantime, Mang, Mang Li, you know, you are closer to us. <laughs> yeah, she said, yeah, she's like, I'm sure she'll be dying to go back and uh, eat that. But when I go back, when the doors are all open for us to travel, you are making that for me. Yeah, Definitely. But in yeah. the meantime, Anne's going to enjoy the whole fish to herself. Yeah, that greedy girl. <laughs> so not fair. <laughs> you, 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 know, you know her and her fish, right? She loves fish, isn't it? Yeah, yes, I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Okay, so you want to put the, the two fish side by side, see? Sure. And, uh, Hang so on a minute, can, yeah? And then if we, could, if we could come closer to the both fishes, right? Maybe if, I don't know how you can arrange this, but if you could come closer, then we can Hang see on. the difference between what is grilled and what is baked. And how it actually, what, what is the difference? Somebody say drooling already, see? And will enjoy ah. it. Oh, siapa tu? Must be Mangli lah. Nah, must be Larissa oh. lah. Facebook user must be Larissa lah. Okay, let's put she a little bit of... Anne? Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. met Anne before when I brought Anne to Stramban. Yeah. H how is it now with the PKP there? So, how is your catering business? Um, It's, it's good. It's mm -hmm. good, but I'm trying to... um. I'm I'm trying not to have too many catering and just subject it to maybe just weekends only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It would be right. really nice um, if you could bring it closer to the camera so we can see like the the fish itself with the sambal and the, the difference between what is baked and the one that is grilled. Okay. Because I'm really intrigued by this. Mangli say what you know just now. If the technology of you can transfer smell, right? Not just sound mm -hmm. and 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 looking, then it's called ambik bau aja lah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is the difference. Can you see? Can you see? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this yeah. one is uh, baked and this is grilled. If you see, oh my goodness, this baby. If you can see the grilled one, it's um, what do you call it? It's more charred. Yeah, 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 and the other one yeah. looks like the 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 cut the color of the the sambal is like even out like that throughout it. Yeah, and you the baked one you get more sauce or uh -huh. watery sauce. You see, uh -huh, uh -huh. this one you do not have any sauce at all. So in the, the grilled other, one, you don't have any sauce at all. Which one do you prefer? Dua dua pun I like. <laughs> But if, if somebody's, yeah, you like duo duo, I also like duo duo, yeah, because it's my favorite fish. But um, you, you no difference between one to another. No, not, not at all. Uh, sorry? There must be some kind of difference. It's just more watery and not, and the other one is like more, like thicker. Or okay. Like, it, like that. Um, when it comes to the texture of the fish meat. Yeah. Um, the grilled one is more, uh, how do you say, uh, I wouldn't say tougher, but it's more crunchy. Okay. Yeah, okay. because there is direct contact to heat underneath the grill. That's right. So even that's the, right. The, the banana leaf itself also changes the form in so many that's, ways. That's it's right. Drier. Yeah. 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 Whereas this one, it is more like a steamed fish. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the big one is more like a steam fish. Yeah. I think yeah. Larissa so said that, that will be the difference. So I'll take both. 
Well, if there's anyone who's coming back, let Jackie be the oh. judge. Jackie, which one you prefer, uh, bake or grill? I think I probably prefer the grilled one because I like the whole idea of like some charring on my fish. Yeah. But I wanted yeah. to ask you because uh, Lisa was asking earlier about the chincharu. Do you use any dip at all with this, or you just eat it straight? This one for for the, the today's dish. Yeah. No, we just eat it straight. There's no dip yeah. at all because the flavors from the rumpa is already overwhelming and uh, uh, there won't be any, uh, if you have a dip, uh, it will just spoil the um, the taste of the paste. Sure. sure. And yeah. is this the like set recipe or do they have different variations? Like do they put coconut cream on it? Like, you know, on no, thing like that? Not at all. Not at all. This is the set recipe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I was in Malacca one year where we went to the fishing village and had some grilled fish, but the fish was very plain. Like they just had like a little bit of turmeric on it and they yeah. just grilled it like that. But the the dip is quite like flavorsome. So the flavor is from the dip. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the difference. Like um, Lisa was also saying, you know, some, uh, she, she has tasted, but they have a dip, the chin, uh, the chin chalo dip. Right. Yeah. So when, yeah. when you, yeah, when you do a grilled fish um, with a dip, you can't um, overpower with other um, uh, other paste. So you you want the the grilled fish to be very simple. You know, like your turmeric powder, your uh, chili powder, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt sure. uh, or pepper, and then you grill it because the dip is the one that brings out the flavor uh, of the fish. Yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I, I can't wait to see the photo. So don't forget to take some photos before you yeah. eat that, Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely, Jackie, yeah, I, definitely. I realize we all have black color. I know, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at us and go, oh my God, definitely did not plan it at that. all. <laughs> no, we <it> didn't. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for this, okay. Cynthia. Very, very educational session. Guys, don't forget, if you want the recipe, sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash join today. And Lisa is responsible for collating and doing this. I, I sent you the template like a week ago, right? Uh, I know, I know. I so <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks again so much for tuning in. Great to uh, engage with everyone here. And always very fascinating when I see Cynthia cook because her food is so different to what the rest of us do, isn't it? Um, yeah. But yeah, we look forward to having you back. All right, guys. Uh, thanks again. Have a lovely night or lovely day wherever you are. And we will see you back here. Uh, actually, I've got a special session. Um, Rachel Koo is, uh, um, has a new series on chocolate, different ways to use chocolate, starting on um, like this weekend, I'm not sure. And uh, the BBC has contacted me to go live or do something with it anyway. So make sure you guys stay tuned to find out, okay, because I might be doing some chocolate-based recipe. And Lisa, if you want to have a crack, oh, you're actually traveling, so you won't be able to do it. Anyway, um, but yeah, savory chocolate and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, we look forward to seeing you then and have a lovely rest of the day. Thanks again, Cynthia. Lovely Thank to you, have Cynthia. you. Thank you're you, welcome. Jackie. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye.